Let's talk a bit of Chelsea, shall we? Mark are confirming the signing of Eden Hazard, Porfina Hazard, which means Stephen finally Hazard. I know, it, I knew that already. Happened. Meanwhile, Tuto Sport's so confident that Sarri is going to go to Juventus. They're talking about how key he will be as to whether or not Cancelo will go to Manchester City to join Pep Guardiola. Chelsea fans concerned with the number of people leaving and no one really coming in. Um, we had this tweet in Gab saying no Hazard, probably no Sarri, no transfers. How doomed are Chelsea in the upcoming season? I don't, wouldn't be necessarily so negative uh, about it. I mean, first of all, it depends on the transfer ban and we don't know yet. Chelsea have just filed um, their appeal with, with Cass. Most likely, I think they expect it to be, to be frozen so that they'll be allowed to operate. Now, if Sarri does move and people expect him to move, they'll need to find a new manager. It'll be easier to do so once you have clarity on the transfer ban. But don't forget, um, this is a team that has a whole bunch of guys out on loan who can probably come back uh, and, and help if worse comes to worse, if there is... If there is a transfer ban from uh, for, from Tomori to, to isn't to, the problem, Gab? They were out on loan for a reason. None of them are Eden Hazard. Nowhere, none of them are anywhere near Hazard quality. Well, no, but you knew Hazard was going to go. So you know you're not going to replace Eden Hazard, but you look to try to, pe to, to to look to people who who you think can 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 make similar contributions. Uh, so obviously Hudson Adoy, I would expect, is more likely to sign. There was talk that. They'd already reached a, a deal in principle. Obviously, he's injured uh, for Yonks, but you'll have William, you'll have Pedro, you'll have Pulisic coming in. Uh, you've got Mason Mount. You've got uh, uh, Reese James. You've got a whole bunch Gab, of really Gab, young players. Of those, <laughs> you're, you're saying that as if these are world-class players. Pedro, William, or well, old. You know, I can understand why the sentiment from a lot of Chelsea fans is negative at the moment. Yeah, I mean, unless they were asleep under a rock, they would have known that <clears throat> Eden Hazard was going to go. We all knew this. This is not a surprise. We all knew that William and Pedro's contracts were expiring and they likely aren't going to be extended. They might extend one of them uh, if they get the transfer ban. But this is the reality. And you move on with different players. This is what happens. Players get old and they get replaced. Now, all, what I'm telling you is even if there is a transfer ban, they feel that, that, that they'll be competitive to finish top four next season if they get the right manager. And if there is no transfer ban, then they'll be looking to strengthen and, uh, and, and maybe make a run to, to bring them closer to the top two. Seems that Gab isn't exclusive with the ESPN FC. Also, oh. Chelsea TV wow. uh, seems to be who he's working with as well. <laughs> Am I, am I well, wrong What here? are you talking about? Gav, I just well, don't, Dan, understand, Dan, I don't Dan, understand Dan, how you can... This is a really bad summer for Here's Chelsea. Thing, if you think about it, right, around Christmas Wait, time... Nothing, <laughs> around Christmas time, we were thinking, what is going to happen with Chelsea this season? And that was with Hazard. And that was with O'Doy. And that was with Loftus-Cheek. And that was with a manager. And then they're going to lose... They're going to lose... Well, two of the injury. They're going to lose the manager. You're going to lose easily your best player. And then you're going to rely on... I mean, Gab, you're saying William and Pedro, two guys that actually... You, you couldn't really call them starters, particularly the second half of the season. So, well, they're obviously, if you're a Chelsea fan, you've got to be worried. Come on. Of course. I mean, Dan, all I'm saying is it's not like something really bad just happened. And it's like, oh, my God, what are we going to do? All of this has been telegraphed. They knew all this. They knew about the transfer ban, and they knew that Eden Hazard was going to go. So all I'm telling you is they, as a club, feel pretty confident in the situation. And I think they have every reason to be. Why? You know, they, yeah. They're not in a position to <laughs> close the gap be? on City and Liverpool. Yeah, low, low expectations anyway, right? But, well. you know, 16 trophies in how many uh, years so far? Yes, Eden Hazard's going to leave. I mean, but what are they fighting for? you got Manchester City and Liverpool. That's taken. Even if there's no ban, even if there's the greatest manager in the world, Chelsea aren't getting anywhere in Premier League. So if they're in top four, once again, they'll be happy for, uh, with it. And they'll probably once again, against all odds, find themselves winning some sort of trophy because that's just what they do. For more, sign up now for ESPN+.